Hello, I'm Pushkar, a master teacher in chemistry at Vedantu and I'm discussing J Advanced 2019 chemistry paper. Here is question number 13, which belongs to the chapter chemical equilibrium. Let's see what is the question. For the following reaction, equilibrium constant Kc at 298 Kelvin is 1.6 into 10 to the power 17. The reaction is between Fe2 plus and S2 negative ion forming FeS. Equal volume of solutions of 0 0.06 mFe2 plus and 0.2 mS2 negative solutions are mixed. And then what is the equilibrium concentration of Fe2 plus? It has been asked. The value of equilibrium constant is very high, 1.6 into 10 to the power 17. The strategy to solve this problem is will be we will first find the concentration, initial concentration of Fe2 plus and S2 negative ion. Obviously, when we mix these two solutions, then the concentration will become half. Once we determine the initial concentration, then looking into this that the equilibrium constant is very large, it is advisable that we should take this reaction fully to the forward direction, 100% to the forward direction. And then we should take it backward. Why will do this? Because when we take it backward, then the amount of FES which will come in the backward direction will be very small and it can be ignored. So that is going to help us in taking the approximations which is needed to solve this problem effectively. If you don't take the approximation, you will have to solve the quadratic equation, which is not a good idea. So let us see how to approach this problem and how to solve it most efficiently. Let us see that we have initial concentrations of Fe2 plus and S2 negative already given and that is initial concentration Fe2 plus was 0 0.03 and this was 0 0.1 that's Fe2 plus that's S2 negative and that is always going to be 1 or well, this is FeS and that is always going to be 1 because the molar concentration of this is 1 because it is solid but we will for sake of simplicity add here the add here the amount so take it completely to in the forward direction that means minus 0 0.03 minus 0 0.03 obviously Fe2 plus is limiting and this will be plus 0 0.03 but this will be effective concentration will be 1 now at this stage, this is 0, this is 0 0.07 and this is 1. So we'll start our problem solving from here. And now let's take it back. So if we do it minus x here, here it will plus x and let's do plus x. And so at equilibrium, at equilibrium, we can say that the concentration of Fe2 plus is x. Concentration of S2 negative is 0 0.07 plus X and this is still 1 because this is solid. Now we can write that Kc is equals to 1 upon concentration of Fe2 plus into concentration of S2 negative and uh, of course here it was FeS but the value of this will always be 1. So at this point we have Kc which was equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power 17, 1.6 into 10 to the power 17 that must be equal to 1 upon x into 0 0.07 plus x and we need to solve a quadratic equation but if we take a very smart move that 0 0.07 plus x is approximately equals to 0 0.07 which seems to be very reasonable because uh, the equilibrium has a very little tendency to come in the backward direction. Our equation then simplifies to 1.6 into 10 to the power 17 is equal to 1 upon x into 0 0.07 and which means that x is equals to 1 upon 1.6 into 0 0.07 into 10 to the power 17 and which is simplified to 1 upon 1.6 into 
7 into 10 to the power 15 into 10 to the power minus 15. So obviously we can see from here that x is very small and if x is very small then our assumption if x is very small then our assumption that uh, we can ignore x in with respect to 0 0.07 is validated is very much true so we have a full confidence on this approximation now if we solve this we'll get the value of x and upon solving it you will get the situation that uh, 10 to the power minus 15 upon 11.2 and when you solve it you will get 8.928 into 10 to the power minus 17 that will be the fe2 plus concentration so if you solve it fully and you truncate it it's not rounding it off if you trun truncate your answer to the two two digits two decimal digits then your answer is going to be 8.92 so y is equals to 8.92 so I hope that you understand this situation and understand this solution. Stay tuned for many more such questions. Thanks for watching.